every time I score, I'm going to get me a hug from a pack of fans. The best in the land. I'm going to never stop jumping in the stands, my man. They make you. All right, Robert. Robert Brooks joins us. Robert, of course, that's from your single, Jump. How's that been selling? It's been doing well. It's been doing well. Um, it, the thing I said from the start, I wasn't doing it to, to make a lot of money uh, with the single jump, but I wanted, you know, people to just know what it's about, the Packer, you know, mania, uh, what it's about jumping in the stands and, and just kind of give somebody something to feel good about. Well, I, you know, I'm amused at how hard some of these people are trying to get you into their section now <laughs> with their signs. I'm sure you must notice that as you go out on the field. Yeah, I noticed up in like uh, row 60 or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Up here, like I can't make it up that high. All right, Robert. I, I don't want to put you on the spot, but we've got to look at the way the other guys jumped yesterday. Now, <laughs> first, let's start with Edgar here. Uh, nice jump. Yeah. Okay. Nice oh, jump. you're gonna you're gonna give him a nice jump on that. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, Robert's gonna say that about each guy. Do you actually grade each other on the sideline? Yeah, we do. We do. Okay. Really and, do. and Tony, that was a good one. That was a good one. That was a really good one. All right, now this one was a scary one when William Henderson came through. <laughs> hey, that's got to be scary. I think everybody's dodging him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, Leroy, he had a long run. You know, when he's jumping at a high hey. spot of the end zone. And he stuck to the wall like Velcro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Desmond Howard with the lead. This is probably the best of the day right here. I like that one. Yeah, you know, uh, I was in that corner of the end zone when Desmond Howard was coming down there, and I don't think there was a more excited guy in the field than I saw you running down like a little kid <laughs> beaming, and you just, you, was, you were yeah. more excited about that than I see about your own touchdown. Well, I, I wanted Desmond to score so bad, you know, and, and every move he was making, I made with him, you know, and I think uh, when he turned it on, I started turning it on, and, then, and when he got in the end zone, it just felt really good, you know, to see him score. Coach, you talk about unselfishness a lot on your team, and it certainly seems Robert's that way. I don't think he cares if uh, if he's the one that scores as long as your team's scoring. No, I mean he's one of the he's one of the great guys I've ever coached, and I don't want to, you know, it's tough <laughs> to say this in front of him because I, I also get mad at him. But I, last week, as an example, you know, and I I told him last week that I was going to be as hard on him this season as any player we have. For why? because he's one of the great players we have. He's, he's unselfish. He's one of the fine people I've ever coached. But if the players see that I am getting on Robert Brooks and I'm going to coach him and be hard on him, then no one can say anything. Because if I get on him, they can, I can get on anybody, but I don't have to get on him very much. I mean, he's really a professional. Uh, you know, but, and, and I've said this about Ray, a lot of guys on the team. As good a football player as he is, he is even a better person. So uh, I'm, we're lucky to have him. Yeah, Robert, let's take a look at a couple plays because I think yesterday showed what else you were doing besides scoring touchdowns. Like this one-handed catch, describe that to me. Well, be... um, you know, that's, that's like a routine play. Brett checked, I think it was a check to uh, a Thunder, and that's where I'm just going to run an inside look to, to just try to get open. You know, and that, that's what I did, and, and I saw the ball, and, you know, if I can get a hand on it, you know, I think I should catch it. Okay, you talk know, to me about this one. Well, you know, I, I got a good good look at the ball and got my hands up and just made sure I pulled it in as quick as possible because I knew the safety was there. You know, you took some wicked hits and you're not you're not a big guy as far as NFL receivers. Do you pride yourself on the toughness part? Well, um, I think there's a a misconception about being big or or having size. I mean, I think you know I weigh 182 pounds and and you know with a low body fat so. You know, it's all relevant. It, I think it, it it equals out in the end. And if a guy's a little bit heavier than, than myself and he has a higher body fat, then it's about the same. So it's all you know? brains and muscle yeah. for you out there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Robert, you, uh, I, I think uh, people that have seen that Fox commercial that you made with Aaron right. Taylor, it's, it's very funny. Could you explain was, to was, me the taping of, of that? It was a lot of fun to make that. Um, um, it took me about 20 25 minutes to make my part, but um, I sat out there and I watched him do Aaron, and they had him on a, uh, they had to put him on a big like sled or something and, and pull him to make it look like he was flying, and they blew Aaron his face and, <laughs> and smoke, and he was out there for about you know hour and a half, and he was tired and, and he was complaining and whining like he always does. <laughs> Uh, Coach, I, I think that exposure is just good for the team. Do you like to see guys going out and doing commercial spots like that? I think it's great. And it was that was a Fox, I believe that was a Fox commercial mm -hmm. that right. they did. 
uh, the, what I tell them, particularly the younger players, is that now, if, as we get better, they're going to get more opportunities, but don't lose sight of what got you there. You know, don't, take, don't let a, all that stuff take away from your focus on playing, being a good football player. That's all I really tell them. Uh, Robert, you really just seem to be on that Monday night, and uh, obviously the nation's watching. Uh, how exciting was that for you in that Eagle game, and what kind of calls did you get from friends after that? Well, um, it, it's very exciting because, you know, that's what you play the game for. You want to, you know, on the national televised game when everybody's watching, when uh, it's a big game and everything's on the line, that's when you want to perform. And, uh, you know, I, I take a lot of pride in that, and I think um, it, it, it hopefully it shows in, in, in the play that I display on the field. Um, and you always get calls from your friends, you know, you'll have like 30, 40 messages on your machine, yeah. you know, and people you hadn't heard from in a while, and, and, and it's, it's a good feeling. Well, it's been great because you've really brought the fun back for the fans, I think. Thanks for joining us on the Thanks. Mike Holmgren Show. All right, when we come back, we're going to talk about some of the cliches guys like Robert have to put up with uh, from us uh, sports reporters next on the Mike Holmgren Show.